When it's complete at the end of this decade, the giant Magellan telescope will see further back in time than ever before, says Patrick McCarthy, who heads the project. McCarthy was at the American Astronomical Society annual meeting in Washington to promote it among his peers. So ours is a 25-meter diameter telescope, and it's comprised of seven mirrors that work together to make a single optical telescope. Each of those mirrors is 8.4 meters in diameter. It's that enormous light-collecting capacity at the heart of Magellan that allows the telescope to peer into the universe and ask very basic questions. So we want to know what is the overall size and structure of the universe? What is it comprised of? What is our place in the universe? Are there other planets in the universe that might hold life? And what's the overall fate and evolution of the universe? The telescope will produce images of the evolving universe, from its elementary particles to the rich world of galaxies, stars, and planets we see today. And once you see them, then you can start to actually look at their atmospheres, see if there are signs of life, or at least biomarkers like water, oxygen, <laughs> chlorophyll perhaps. And then on the very largest scales, we can measure the expansion history of the universe and try to understand this mysterious acceleration and ask, what's the fate of the universe 100 billion years from now? Each mirror is the product of cutting-edge technology and processing. A huge mold that can accommodate 20 tons of crushed glass is heated to 2,000 degrees and spun in a big furnace. The glass melts and takes on a natural parabolic shape. It's then slowly cooled one degree a day for four months to avoid stresses that could lead to cracks. Then, after those four months, we open the top and see what we've got. And we just did that on mirror number three, and it's beautiful. Finally, the mirror is polished to just the right prescription. Magellan will operate from a Chilean mountaintop beginning in 2020. When it's fully operational, McCarthy says, its images will be 10 times sharper than those from the Hubble Space Telescope. He acknowledges that he might not be around to see them. These sorts of projects take, they're kind of career length projects, or pretty close to it. So people like myself, we do this knowing that the next generation will actually be the users. They're the ones who will make the discoveries. The $1 billion project is the largest privately led telescope initiative in history. A global partnership among academic and science institutions. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.